This is part 21 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to pass data from the container component that is our employee list component to the nested component that is our employee count component using input properties. At the moment, the count of employees that we have against each of these radio buttons, these counts are hard-coded within our employee count component as you can see right here. Now these are the hard-coded values which we are displaying on the web page at the moment. If you look at this employee list component which is our parent component, this component has the list of employees. So this component has the information about those counts and this component should be able to pass values for these three properties. And for the parent component to be able to do that, we will have to convert these properties within our child component to input properties. To be able to convert these properties to input properties, we will have to decorate these properties with input decorator. And to do that, we will have to first import input from Angular Core. So just like how we are importing component, we are also importing input from Angular Core. And then we need to decorate these three properties that we have with input decorator, which makes them input properties. Because we have decorated these properties with input decorator and they are going to receive the values from our parent component which is our employee list component, there is no need to specify any default values. So let's get rid of those default values as well. So at the moment, we have turned all the properties that we have within our employee count component, that is our child component, to input properties. All that is left now is to pass the values for those input properties from our parent component which is employee list component. Here are those two changes which we have done within our child component which is employee count component. So the key point to remember here is to make a property and input property simply decorated with input decorator. Now let's look at the changes required within our parent component that is employee list component. We need to make two changes within our employee list component. One change is within the employee list component class and the other change is in the view template. First, let's look at the change required within the component class. So let's open this TypeScript file which contains our employee list component class and within this class, I'm going to introduce a method. Let's call it get total employees count. As the name suggests, this method is going to return us the total number of employees. So let's set the return type of the method to number. And to get the total number of employees, we're going to use this property which contains the list of employee objects. So let's simply return this dot employees dot length. So the length property should give us the total number of employees. Now we want another method which is going to return the total number of male employees. So let's make a copy of this method and then change the name of the method to get total male employees count and again this method is going to return number and we want this method to return us only the male employees count. So on the employees property here, I'm going to use the filter method and then specify our condition that we only want those employees whose gender is equal to male. And notice here at the moment we are using triple equals instead of double equals. In a bit, we'll discuss the use of single, double and triple equals in TypeScript. For now, let's include another method which is going to return us the total number of female employees. So let's change the method name here to get total female employees count. And then here we want to change the gender to female. So these are the changes required within our component class. So what is the use of single, double and triple equals in TypeScript? We use single equals for assignment, that is to assign a value to a variable, double equals to compare two variable values. Similarly, triple equals is also used to compare two variable values. In addition, triple equals also compare their underlying data types. Finally, Let's look at the change required within the view template of our employee list component. So let's open this HTML file. Notice within the view template of our employee list component, we're using the selector 
of the child component that is our employee account component as a directive and what we want to be able to do is for these three properties that we have within our child component all male and female we want to pass values from the parent component that is from our employee list component and for that purpose we have created these three methods which return the respective counts so we want to be able to bind these methods to these input properties that we have within the child component so within the view template where we are using the child component selector as a directive we are going to use property binding and bind to the input properties of the employee count component so within square bracket we specify the name of the property in this case all so we want to bind to this all input property of the child component and to that property we want to bind this method that we have within the parent component get total employees count so let's copy that and specify it right here now we need to do the same thing for the rest of the properties notice to the male input property we are binding get total male employees count and for the female input property we are binding get total female employees count so let's save all our changes and reload a web page. Notice now we see the correct set of employees next to each radio button. We have a total of five employees out of which three are male and two are female. Now to this employees array let's add another employee object. Notice the gender of this new employee is male. Let's save our changes and then reload a web page and look at what happens to the counts. Notice the counts are automatically picked up. We have a total of six employees now, out of which four are male and two are female. So at the moment, using the input properties, we are able to pass data from the container component to the nested component. But at the moment, when we click these radio buttons, nothing happens. In our next video, we'll discuss how to pass these user actions from the child component to the parent component using output properties. So we can react and then display only the appropriate set of employees in this table depending on our radio button selections. So here we have the changes we made to the employee list component class and the view template. Thank you for listening and have a great day.